Okay, here I am at the organ uh, in the choir loft at Annunciation Church in Clifton, Cincinnati. Uh, I'm going to tell you some of what I've been up to in the last few months during this, you know, whole COVID-1984. Uh, I thought it would be a good time to learn some, some new pieces since I might have some serious time on my hands. Um, there's a set of pieces that Bach wrote called the, the Trio Sonatas for Organ that he wrote for his son to use as audition pieces, and they're, they're really hard. Um, they're called the, the six, organ, six Trio Sonatas for Organ, and each sonata has three pieces in them. Um, yeah, and these are just about the most pe difficult pieces I've ever done. The first one I learned was the, uh, the very first sonata in E flat, and uh, that was years ago. And over the years I've learned, you know, a movement here and there from other sonatas. Uh, I looked at this sonata in uh, D minor. It's the third sonata in D minor. I have looked at it over the years and always decided against it just because uh, the time required would, would be huge. Um, so a trio, a trio is basically when you have three different things going on. You've got um, your right hand is playing one keyboard, your left hand is playing another keyboard, and your feet are playing the, the pedal board. And you set up the organ so that the top keyboard has one sound, the second keyboard has uh, something that blends with the first one but is really distinctive, so you can hear clearly the two different sounds. Um, and then the pedals have their own set of pipes, so they're, they're not going to interfere. Um, my wife asked me what's so difficult about these pieces, because I would, you know, I'd finish practicing and go home and, and just tell her how, how over-the-top difficult these pieces are, so I was trying to imagine a way to explain to her what's, what makes them hard. And I remember this, when you're a kid, you learn how to do that. Um, whatever part of your brain it takes to do that is the same thing is needed for these. Uh, you have to be able to uh, think of two different things, or three different things going on at the same time. Um, now, another thing about these pieces are the phrases. The phrases in these trios are much longer than, say, these phrases in, uh, in a Bach fugue, which tend to be kind of short it's much easier to keep your attention focused for a short time than these, these longer ones. Um, and he'll, he'll start one phrase and it'll, it'll do its complete arc, but another phrase will start somewhere in there and it has its own complete arc and you have to be able to keep them both in your mind at the same time to make each a complete thought. So that, that's one of, the, one, of, one of the difficult things about these pieces. So um, we're gonna turn some lights on and Bill's going to film me playing them. We're going to make three separate videos, one for the first movement, one for the second movement, and one for the third movement. So that's it. <laughs> 